Hi, this is Darman. Welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. In this video series, I'm showing you how to build Stampy's lovely world. And in the last video, we started working on this building I'm about to run straight into. <laughs> we started working on the fireworks shop. Here it is. We got the outside done. And uh, we didn't really get a lot done on the inside. We kind of put the floor in, but that's about it. Uh, in between videos, I did put some torches around. I'm going to show you where they go. Um, just a, Let's get out of here. Before we do anything, though, we have to talk. We all have seen Stampy's newest video, which took place before, or it took place after I filmed the last video, obviously. And right around here, he is building a uh, fountain, and he is in the process. Well, he moved the path, but William Beaver actually did it, and this is all being redone here. And he said he's going to be redoing the bridge. I'm not quite sure if that just means he's just changing the materials out so that it does that told checker pattern which is great it's actually great that it's um you know it's all going to tie in together and uh you know my my only regret well not regret the only only wish was that he had done it that way originally because it would have been a lot easier to calculate like how long these long paths were if i could have seen like the checkerboard pattern is a nice way you know you can you can you know in a shot like this you can count every last block without having to you know really go to much trouble so yeah this is getting moved over i'm not doing anything oh by the way uh, i did add a million people have, have told me about it and i saw it a long time ago but i did put the uh fight him frame with the dog bone there so that that is that is in there so um yeah so once he's done with this whole area then we'll go over you know the changes that need to happen i don't really want to do it before then because uh, you know, he hasn't, he has to do the river still as, you know, as of the recording of this video, he hasn't done the, you know, the river part and it, it sounded like he was going to make maybe a couple of changes as to how the fountain worked, you know, with like the switch that would only make it work at night and so forth. So, uh, I'm not going to, I did start building it in my Stampy Seed world. I, I moved to the path and I changed it out and have that all worked out so far but i think he's you know who knows they might he might still be making little changes like um uh, see how these are on these torches are on blocks like he may be doing that because right now they're just sitting on the ground like in these sort of areas so we'll see we'll see how that goes um some of the terrain changed slightly um more so down here but this whole now, it's, if there's if there's a river going in here, I'm, I'm betting that this terrain is is going to change uh, either a lot or may, maybe it is only slightly. I don't know. There, this is obviously there's we're in for a change here. No no doubt about it. I'm sure. So let's just hold off. We're going to do that when the time comes. Once he's kind of gotten that settled down a little bit, so uh, maybe you know within a week or so because the new video will be coming out uh, uh, tomorrow. For me, it's tomorrow. It's it'll probably be uh, have already come out by the time this video comes out, but, uh, that's when I'm recording. So the only other thing I really want to talk about is the, um, the cow that's right here. No, I don't want to talk about him. I want to talk about the transporter, the, uh, the squid, the squid in my, in my lake. Uh, I want to talk about the, you know, he's got a new transporter down here. That's going to take the place of the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, what do you call it? The, uh, the plasticator, right? So the plasticator is going away. And we're getting a, you know, a teleportation unit in there, which, you know, since we don't have the fun land yet, we have no place to teleport to. Not that it's, of course, actually, you know, really teleporting anything. But, um, so I'm not sure. I, I think we'll do that soon. But, um, <laughs> Lord knows I haven't done the tree train yet because I don't have the, you know, we haven't started the fun land yet. But, and that was kind of what I was holding out on for that. So, um but that has a little more to do with the fact that the tree is really hard to figure out like just looking at videos it's really hard to just to just even approximate it so you know besides you know the stump and all that that's easy you know down here that's that's no problem it's all the leaves and branches really hard to do so you know we will be getting to that stuff so you can you know you don't have to keep commenting about that we will get there um and uh, oh hello hilda Henry, how are we doing in here? Oh, Hilda has her back to me. That is not... Oh, they both have their back to me. No, they did not do that. I gave them life, and that's the thanks I get. Did you ever hear that one, kids? Uh, okay, so today we are... We are not building something new. We are continuing work uh, here on the fireworks shop. So, let's see. Let's go over uh, where I put these torches, because you're going to need these. And um, 
did I mention before that the I think I did in the last video that the the elaborate um, what do you call it uh, you know launching system he had up here for launching fireworks was really just for that one video it's not there anymore uh, so that it is not here uh, to build but if you want to watch his video uh, it's very clear on how he does it up there so it's, it's no problem uh, but the torches they go as you can see uh, on this you know right on top of this first level of the dome and I'm just going to kind of fly over top and you can see which ones they go on there on the, the red one there the cyan the yellow and the magenta one there uh, and these torches go three in from each side one two three one two three uh, so that's going from the front that's going to go on that lime one in the middle that lime one this orange one and this orange one I didn't realize they were like kind of paired up like that so what we want to do first is build the spires and then we're going to build the inside so I've got some stuff here now I'm going to mention something about these spires first of all we know he built this one um, in a video and I think Lee built the other three so we we don't 100% know what the height are height is what the heights is what the height are except for this one we know this one starts out as a five block tower one two three four five uh and then he builds the little firework explosion thingy on top and then he went back and changed uh the color added some you know colors in this you know some stripes and so forth which we'll do too uh so based on all the video that i have and the you know watching his videos the best I can come up with is that this one is five blocks high with the you know thing on top uh, adding more and then this one is going to be 10 that one's going to be 15 and then this one is going to be 20 it's it seems like the top of one is even with the bottom of the next uh, it's in all the videos I saw and it just it, until we find out something better that's what we're gonna do so let's let's just say that all right, so uh, starting with the green one, uh, because they all go on, you know, the middle, right where that um, glowstone is, right in the middle of the, the squares on the end, and they they use the colors uh, that are for that area. This is going to be yellow, that one's going to be green. So this is start out with building a five block high, um, you know, in white wool, and then we're just going to, re oops, <laughs> we're going to fall to our deaths. We're going to replace the top one with green and then skip one and uh, so that should leave two white ones on the bottom like that so uh, now all the little firework things are built exactly the same they're just different colors and it starts out by whatever tower you built here you're gonna put one more block of that same color on top and then on each side of that block you're gonna put you know one piece sticking out like that and then uh, we're gonna build a block that's like I temporarily have to put one here uh, and from here I'm going to add one on each side there's going to be three on each side oops, three on a side and then we're going to add another row on top of that so what we want to have is a three by three square sitting like this and then we're going to put another one on each of these four sides so I'm, I just kind of temporarily have to have that there uh, so then I can add that uh, and you can kind of do this however you want but in the end uh, I'm just going to give instructions based on oops well that's a little a little sloppy there uh, give the instructions based on having it look like this so however you want to get to you know looking like this at this point uh, you can do that so let's one, two, three one two three so we've got this little thing that's you know we've got three by three here you know on top of that little uh, little piece here so first thing we want to do in before we do anything is we're going to put the glowstone inside so that it's easy to do it now um and it, it it goes like kind of hovers in the middle so you have to put something underneath of it first uh so i'm just going to put another piece of glowstone stack that one on top of it and then break out that bottom one and that will be in the right position uh so then what i'm going to do is build the top and then we're going to carve out the, the pieces on the side so on the top i'm just going to temporarily put that one there drag it across we don't need that one anymore and then just like the bottom it's going to be a little plus sign and uh, so the bottom and the top are plus signs and the sides are they're like um you know like on the side of a die you, you know you play a game with dice and you know the dots represent the numbers you know one two three four five six this is like a number five so think of it that way this is a this is the five die okay how about does that make any sense at all uh, okay so it's basically it's the exact opposite of what's happening on the top and the bottom you know you, 
these are the pieces you're getting rid of um, on the top and the bottom, and these are the pieces you're leaving. So anyway, uh, let's just do it on this one, da, 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 and there we go. There is our, our green one all done, and like I said, they are all done exactly the same way, uh, just different colors that matches the thing here. So the next one is uh, the yellow one. Uh, this one, like I said, uh, we're making this 10, uh, 2, oops, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And as you can see, this is going to match up with the top of this one. This is going to be the same exact level. And uh, so, see, we're going to, this is yellow, so we're going to add, re replace these top two pieces with yellow. And then we're going to skip one and replace that one with yellow also. All right, so now at this point, uh, this is where we do this again. We put one more piece on top, begin our little, the bottom of our, you know, exploding thing there. Uh, and then the whole one is going to look like this. So now we're going to move over to the pink one that's over here. Uh, oh, no, we don't want to use pink yet. Uh, so that goes right on the edge here above that glowstone. And this is going to be, what did I say, 15? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And so for the pink one, we're going to take our pink and we're going to replace the top two again with pink. Uh, then we're going to skip one, replace that one with pink, and then we're going to skip two and replace that one with pink. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, just like the other one, we're going to put one more piece on top of that, put our little plus sign, uh, and then put the rest of the ball. And now we're on to do the last one, the purple one, uh, which I said we are going to do this one as, see, it's 5, 10, 15, 20, right, 20. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so now this one, we're going to replace the top three with purple and then we're going to skip two white ones and then oh, let's see one two we're going to put a purple one here oh two purple ones and then skip two more white ones and then one more purple one uh like that so it's three two 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 and then one there we go three two 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 one yeah okay all right and uh, as you can see this again this just to verify this top of this one is even with with this one like that and so then we just plop one more block on top of that make our plus sign and then we're going to finish that one and there's the last spire people we are done the outside except we have to, we'll have to put um i think we have to do this the sign and the door we'll do that uh in a bit so first inside here we're going to leave this part uh in just a bit so let's just uh let's just quickly do this the little launching system that's over here so we are going to need, let's see, what are we going to need? We're going to need, uh, let's see, a block of quartz. We're going to need a dispenser. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Dispenser, block of, not coal, block of quartz, dispenser, stone button. Oh, some glass, Ooh, spider web, and I think that's going to do it. Okay, so it's right in the corner here. Uh, just put... Um, quartz blocks every other one right in that spot and then we just have to put the dispensers firing straight up and buttons right on top of them on those red squares uh the glass goes right here that's all there should be three of them there in between here uh oh we we need to cut out this part here uh let's see these three it's the last three if you just count if you just go straight up knock those three out and then knock that blue one out there as well uh, so we can complete this goes all the way up to the roof uh, There's gonna be one here One here and that one is gonna meet up with oops with that side like that So we want that this one should be open because this is where the fireworks are gonna get shot out uh, So that's the little tester station there. All right um, And you don't need to put anything in the dispensers because that's where the customers will will do that and they'll fire off stuff and you can you know look up and check it out and stuff like that uh so that pretty much takes care of that so uh then we need to work on this part over here oh but before we do i want to i forgot to show you where i put the torches the torches go um well they go here and here how about that there it's uh you know if, if you're facing the door you've got that one 
little notch here not the not the notch that's way up there but this one here where the purple uh, let's see that's magenta you're gonna put one there and then to the right of that one and the left of that one on the yellow and another magenta and then here you're gonna put it on that uh, cyan and then to the right and left of that one and that's that's it uh, that's that's it for the torches so so now we'll grab some wool and start on this side this is gonna be the right side coming in from the door and uh, we're going to put rainbow colors here, and they're going to be matched up to this second row of colors here. This is the, the exact order of the colors that we're going to put on the wall here. Uh, so we're going to start with red on the left side, and we're going to put one block here. We're going to leave one block empty for a dropper, and then two blocks below that. And we're going to do that for every color here, and pink, 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 burp, uh, magenta, 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 and so forth. Uh, right along, as you can see, it's matching up exactly with that row here. It's in blue cyan i grabbed them in order just to make it go faster for myself uh let's see then i need oh i didn't have room in my inventory here so i'm going to put the lime here and yellow is my last color let's see lime here and yellow there we go all right so now let's get rid of those grab our dispenser uh no excuse me my droppers or i need some stone buttons for this as well so we're just going to plop these in here and these are just going to be filled with the color um, the color dye that matches uh, that so you're just gonna fill that up with with the dye that matches there and uh, we're gonna put stone buttons at the top of each of these and that's how you're gonna fire it out uh, so let's grab some glowstone we're gonna actually uh, remove this part of the floor and uh, oh dear yeah we've got this big gap here we're gonna probably need to rectify some of that because we're gonna have this trough of water happening uh, that's going to start right here on the purple level and we're going to need to have some something to put something on. I'm going to grab some dirt and I'm going to grab some quartz too just to use that as the final. Oh, it, there is a lot of space down here. Uh, let's see, we can just do it like that and we're going to make this last one. Now this should be, no, this should be glowstone right here, not, not quartz. Uh, so that's going to dip down right at the purple level. Oh, speaking of purple, we're going to grab just one little detail here before we get out of this air. That should be, it's going to be exposed, so we're going to just fill that in with purple uh, right there. So we'll just hold off on doing anything else with that. So, um, hmm, hmm, how do we want to do this? All right, let's dig the trench uh, that's going to go over here where, you know, the stuff is going to end up. Let's see how we're going to do this. From the door, let's start here. Uh, go to the fourth block to the left. One, two, three, four, and then pull back one. We're going to knock that one out. This is going to be the start. This is actually, well, this is going to be the end, to tell you the truth. Uh, all right, we're going to have to build. Maybe I need to just sort of build up this floor a little bit. Maybe that would be, maybe that would be the smart thing to do. Just at least, well, I don't know. That, nah, you know what? Why, why start thinking now? All right, I got to get out of this. Here we go. Uh, let's just put this here. Ah, come on. I'm just going to fill this part. I don't know what you have under yours, but uh, I think I'm just going to uh, make it a little easier to put a floor in by having something under here, at least just a little bit uh, in this area here. Uh, so it'll be easy to put the trough in. Uh, you won't really see anything under there for the, you know, where you put the water because it's going to be kind of covered up. Uh, but that will help so there should be a block of uh, no, a little higher than that oh gosh here we go there we go there we go and it should be right there uh, so it's gonna be like I said four blocks over one two three four and then pull back one uh, if you're facing the same direction I am and uh, that's this is gonna be where it ends so we're gonna go forward two blocks one two we're gonna go left one forward one and then it's going to go to the left. Just take that right to the wall because that's going to kind of come this way. Uh, and then here we're going to go just bring it forward to where that uh, purple is there. Uh, so now we're just going to use some quartz uh, to fill in where that goes so that we don't have water splashing all over the place down there. And just kind of fill this in like that. There we go. Uh, and then again over here. We'll do, we probably don't really need to do this part in quartz, but not going to see it but why not we'll just do it that way anyway so that's that's where the trough goes and right here uh since i'm thinking about it i'm going to grab the uh stairs quartz stairs oh here we go it goes here and it's going to be a little little stair right here oh, 
right here on top of nothing. Wow, this is like a little waterfall under here. Well, I don't know, maybe even a little bit more than a little. Uh, let's see, I'm just going to pile up a little dirt like there. Oh, we need one more. Okay. There we go. So we want to have the stairs uh, like that. Uh, so again, I don't have the half slabs on top of this yet. We'll do that. Uh, we'll probably do that last. Okay, so from here we're going to take uh, our block, our quartz block, and we're just going to start building across here. We're going to make two rows of this, and just be careful not to fill that in. Otherwise your water is not going to flow very well, is it? Uh, and then we're going to put some matching wool for this. It's going to go right here on top of this particular row. So we're going to have to clear out our inventory and get some more wool. Uh, let's see, what is it going to be? Yellow, or no, <laughs> let's see, red, orange. Let's see if I can go back here. I can see my colors a little easier. Uh, let's see, red, orange, pink, magenta, purple, blue, cyan, and oh, green. And then lime is the last one we can fit on there, so we'll just do it that way. Uh, so I just want to put these right here on top. <laughs> and uh, wait, what just happened there? Oh, I don't want the red. <laughs> don't want the red there. I want uh, want some yellow there, don't we? And then we're just going to put glass blocks on top of this. And let's see where are those glass blocks? Here we go. All right, put them right on top of this. And then everything's going to shoot right into that and fall down into the water. Oh, well, we're going to have to put water in there. We're going to have to break that a little bit later to get the water in, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, so now in front of this, we're going to put half slabs of... Why do I keep missing where that goes? Half slabs um, of quartz on top of this here. And we're going to put full blocks of quartz right along here maybe we'll save this so that we can make sure where the, um, that our water is flowing um, I'm wondering maybe I should make sure I just pause right here and uh, well we'll put well I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll put no we're not going to do that we're not going to do that all right so let's leave this as is and then let's let's do this side and then we'll work on making this part work a little bit better okay that 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 kind of makes sense to me <laughs> uh so on this side we're just going to use quartz we're not going to use colored wool uh to make just bring that up to the same level as that two and then we need uh some droppers on this one droppers I'm gonna go right on top oops on top of these but there's only seven two three four five, six seven yes the first seven leave that one uh I was gonna just just put that there, uh, and then on top of the oops, on top of the actual droppers, put a full block on top of that, and then on this side, there's gonna be a little stairs. Where is it? And it goes right on the side like this, sideways like that. And uh, okay, there we go. So um, let's get our glowstone back out. And just like we did here, we're going to we're going to dig out this channel here, and we're going to put glowstone here. Although we're going to skip this last block, I'm going to grab a piece of quartz and just fill that in. Don't just put it directly under the the dispenser uh, droppers, and uh, leave this here. That helps actually make it flow a little bit better. Uh, just having that there. So uh, we're going to put uh, oof. There. What did I just run into? Oh, I ran into to that thing. I'm going to put a full block uh, of that on top of there and actually yeah it's going to be two full rows here and then we're going to put our glass. Why did I get rid of the glass? Glass on top of there. Oop and I put one too many. <laughs> Shouldn't have that there. Should be one block here and a block oops right there to kind of make that all nice and neat. Uh, we're going to need some buttons on there, some stone buttons right on top of these uh, droppers. I almost called it a dispenser again. And now we'll come back to filling them up in just a minute and we'll put the, there's little item frames and we'll fill all them in uh, when you get there. Just saying, let's get the, the basic build done here. Uh, you know what, I probably should have just left this off. Uh, I'm going to grab some water and let's see how we did here. 
Uh, we just need a block of water right here at the very end, right on the bottom. Oh, that should, <laughs> there should be a couple of blocks there and I should move it there. And let's see, I'm going to need to, I need to get in here and put it, put it some bucket of water down here and one on the other side and let's see how we're doing here. And there we go. Perfect. All right. It should stop right there. Uh, if it does not, then something has gone wrong with your, with your, with your, what you've done here. So, uh, that's good. So at this point, all we have to do is just, you know, not foul this up and and then it, it, everything will work at least even if it doesn't look exactly like stampy's but it is going to uh so uh right let's uh let's get over here we're gonna need some uh some more full blocks right here and put one there put a half block on top of that he started out building everything as stairs and then he kind of changed some of it to half blocks uh and blocks over on this side and right here we we, we do still have uh, some stairs uh, right here go right here the stairs they kind of face this way and um, yeah put one there and uh, so yeah that should go right to the edge of that and this is all going to be half slab on top of all this so that'll be actually even with the floor right there uh, so actually let's go ahead and put the half slabs in all over the floor uh, with the exception of right around the doorway we want to make sure we leave uh, this one block empty because uh, there's going to be a pressure plate there in just a bit I think it's just that one yeah it's just that one uh, this one here here and then we're just going to fill the rest of this in get that in there and I just don't put anything over top of the stairs or uh, well, you, you can still get out of there, but it's it's just a little easier if you if you don't do it that way. All right, now this is where we have to be a little bit careful. I'm going to put the half slabs right here, and we're obviously not going to put one there because we're going to have to go down there. Uh, and the half slabs are going to go here, and right above there, and there there's our floor. Uh, so on this side, we just want to make sure we don't interfere with this water, which. Um, if we put a, you know, if we put a full block here, that's prob that could possibly foul something up. So we're just gonna, you know, we're not gonna leak, put anything there if we can at all avoid it. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just put half slab, oops, half slabs here, even with this thing, and then we're gonna put more half slabs on top. So basically, you could put whole blocks there, but that's okay. Uh, it's easier to explain it that way. Uh, we're gonna put a half slab here well we could put it we could put a whole slab here well actually you know we got to put a half slab here because that's otherwise that's not going to be even with that one and a uh, whole block we could put um we could we should be able to put a whole block here and one here and that should do it and it's still flowing that's good Whew, it's weird i know it's it's a little confusing um let me replace this so it should look like this when you're done, and now we've got the half slab on here. So the stairs sort of blend into the floor, which gives you this little half, kind of looks like a half, a quarter of a slab sort of sticking up is the overall effect is what you get. Uh, okay, so we have, while I'm here, let's put the pressure plate there. Oh, I already had that. And the door, might as well put the door on. This place is a little drafty right now. Uh, let's see pressure plate here and of course the door from the outside will go here and we'll need a pressure plate here so we can get in there we go so now really all that's left uh, we're gonna get a couple of crafting tables which I think are still there uh, and they will go up here yeah they should still be there oh and I have to replace this piece of slab there which I had already gotten rid of and so the only thing left to do is really just to kind of put the contents of these and finish these off and I think we're done which is good because we're, we're going a little long here but that's all right I'm not making a third video for this this is uh just needs to get finished so let's get some item frames going here uh let's see it's, they're gonna go on the front now hmm how am I gonna do this since I'm not <laughs> I probably shouldn't have put this glass up now that one I'm kind of thinking about it because I need to be crouched in order for this to work and I don't know that I can put it on there by just sort of just squeezing it 
my hairs right on there. Oh, it actually worked. Uh, but you'll probably probably be easier if we just kind of you know let's get rid of this for now, uh, and then I can just sort of crouch here and then just put an item frame on the front of each of these. And don't worry, the items will still shoot through it. And uh, I can replace that. You know, I'm just gonna leave the glass off for right now. We'll put that back on when, when we're done. It'll make this much easier. Uh, so the first one, uh, well, let's see. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's just put them on here and then I'll show you what we did. So in the first one, we've got, uh, this is the glowstone dust. And in order to actually put something in there, you have to point at like any of the gray area that's still exposed. And then you can see we've got 11 glowstone uh, dust in there. And on the fire charge, we've got 36 in there. And this is all based on, you know, what he's put in there initially that I don't know what's in there right now. But uh, this is a good starting point. Uh, we've got three diamond in there. Which obviously, it's hard to come by. He's got seven feathers, 35 gold nuggets paper we've got 63 paper and 32 of the uh, uh, what do you call it the <laughs> not the TNT what is that called the, you know the uh, yes wow what I am totally blanking on the gunpowder thank you man that was rough uh, so now we've got that in there the water is going yeah so let's just put these glass blocks uh, back and oh we need the uh, we need the employee of the month sign too which goes right over here uh, so let's just test one of these out that we have a lot of. Let's just test the paper one out. There's a lot of paper in there. And let's just see. Okay, it's traveling. Good. And it should be traveling down here in a couple of minutes. We should see it over there. So in the meantime, well, let's just put uh, the employee of the sign up. Employee of the sign. Employee of the, the, employee of the month sign, which was squishy, uh, which goes right over here. And it should look like this. And she she did it in a little different style because she did it herself uh so the e is a, not capitalized it's got employee of the month and there's a colon there and then squishy right underneath of it so let's see if our paper has arrived it has arrived all right excellent and uh, i suppose we should test these out too um we should just put some dye uh let's see any of the stuff that we used to color this stuff where is that stuff kept uh here we go uh let's see like red orange uh pink magenta this 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 and that and uh we're just gonna put one in each for now or just you know really really doesn't matter for our we don't really know how much is in there but probably there's uh, probably a good bit uh, in each one so we'll just fill those up with the right colors and let's just test out one of these i'll test out the orange uh i will mention he put the over on over here he put the the water up on this uh up on this second block and I didn't have much luck with that uh, when I used this dispenser uh, dropper because it would sink down to underneath the water block and it wouldn't move. So I, I have it down there. I don't know if I just did something wrong or what, but um, if that comes up, uh, if you're watching his video, that, that's why I did it differently. Uh, so how are we doing? Oh, look, there it is already. All right, we can go down here. Let's stop flying and then hop back up here and then we can, well, I... I don't honestly I've never made fireworks but um, I'm pretty sure uh, you guys have and can figure it out so you've watched his video so uh, alright so what are we missing here anything we've got the employee of the month sign which is always the thing I always forget we've got torches we've got this contraption doodle thing we've got steps we've got this um, hmm uh, we'll fill that up later did we do the outside? Everything is good here. We've got, wow, we fell down here. That's not so good here. All right, well, uh, that'll do it then. I, you know, Let me know if you uh, see anything. I'm just going to hop up here to end my videos. If you see anything I missed or need to change, obviously, uh, you guys are never shy about that. I'm Darman68. Thank well, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. Err, I almost forgot the sign. <laughs> I almost forgot the sign for the shop. Oh, man, I would have got grief for that. Woo, I bet you all were, see now, the, you know, the people that weren't watching the whole video are not going to see this. So, yeah, this the uh, the sign is obviously Firework Shop. And this is how he does it. It's Firework, one word, there's a dash, and then a little shop in small case S uh, on there. So, woo, boy, am I glad I remembered that at the last instant. That is not the last time I've remembered something at the very last instant like that. So, 
Now I'm Darman68. Nine. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.